Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Sagittarius, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Sagittarius. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Swords in the reverse. And this is air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. So with this energy being in the reverse, this is an energy of someone who's wanting to move slowly. Um, this is someone who's choosing to not rush in. Um, there is also an energy of blocked communication. It's like someone is not really expressing themselves in the way that they want to, or they are holding back from communicating because... At this time, they feel like they don't have the right words to say. This is someone who is afraid of messing up their words and they, they're trying to be careful about it. Okay, so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about the Sagittarius. Okay, we have the, the Seven of Swords in the reverse, air energy. Next, we have the Eight of Swords in the reverse, air energy. And finally, we have the Five of Cups in the reverse, water energy. Okay, so... This person is seeing you as someone who has released them. They're seeing you as someone who's letting them go, who is no longer stuck on them. Uh, perhaps in the past, this person felt like they had a hold on you or they had some sort of grip on you. But at this moment, they are looking at you as someone who they don't have that grip on anymore. It's like you have made peace with something, you've accepted something, and it's like you're moving on. This is how they're seeing you. They're seeing you as someone that they cannot control anymore. Um, with the Eight of Swords in the reverse, it's like um, this person at some point may have felt like you felt victimized by them and um, that they had some sort of power over you. Um, but with the Eight of Swords being in the reverse, it's like they feel like you've gotten some sort of clarity and you are freeing yourself. You're taking back your power. You're They're seeing you as someone who may have switched up on them in some way, like you um, changed. You um, are standing up for yourself or you're moving away from them. You're letting them go in some way. And um, this is definitely someone who is like they want to communicate, but they feel like you wouldn't want to hear them out. At the same time, we are also seeing someone who's slightly unapologetic um this is somebody who um you know they, they they feel like you saw their true colors you you've seen who they are you they've been exposed to you and you are releasing them and um they feel like they can't come towards you they, they, there's definitely this it's almost like a fearful energy um also an energy of feeling like they wouldn't know what to say um but also just feeling like you wouldn't want to hear them out because you it looks like you are you're, you're, you're leaving them behind with the Five of Cups in the reverse. Okay, so let's clarify these cards, Sagittarius. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Justice card. 
and this is Libra energy. So you could be dealing with a Libra. Okay, so this is a, an energy of, it's like karmic. It's like you are giving this person a taste of their own medicine. They feel like you are out for revenge or you are, um, you know, evening out the scales. You are being uh, very just in the situation. You're not settling for an unfair situation. It's almost like what you were putting up with before, you're no longer going to put up with anymore. And we do see you getting some sort of karmic justice here with the justice card here. Okay, so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this. Okay, we have the King of Cups, Water Energy, Four of Pentacles in the Reverse, Earth Energy, and the Hermit, Virgo Energy. Okay, so this person feels like you've withdrawn from them, you've pulled back your energy, you are taking back your energy, because this person is someone where it does look like you may have put invested a lot of emotion, um, energy into them, and it's like... You may have felt disappointed by this person and now you're freeing yourself from them. You're taking back your energy, you're pouring it into yourself. And with the King of Cups, it's just this energy of feeling centered, feeling um, feeling okay with yourself, having that self-loving energy and not being affected by this person anymore. It's like this person can't control or dictate your emotions anymore. You are very much in control of your emotions and you have this heightened self-awareness as well um, and you are again you're releasing this person you're releasing a burden here um, so we do see here i see you pouring into your own cup but with the king of cups it's like a very self-loving energy you're being nurturing towards yourself and you are also doing some sort of introspection here um, you're looking within healing from something but again it's like withdrawing from a situation and you you see this person very clearly now for who they are okay so i'm going to pull out an oracle card for you sagittarius The card says the end of a tough cycle approaches. Full moon in Capricorn. Okay, so some situation here is ending. A situation where you were made to feel like a victim. A situation where you had to constantly be giving someone the benefit of the doubts or forgiving someone who was very self-interested, um, self um you know, putting themselves first, but in a selfish way. You, there's this energy of no longer giving this person those chances. It's like you're choosing yourself. You're putting an end to that cycle that was very difficult. Um, and again, with the justice card, it's like you're choosing to be fair to yourself. You are looking for fairness. This is how you're being perceived at this time. It's like you want fairness. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an oracle, another card for you, um, Sagittarius. So the card says, this situation is calling for you to have faith. Okay, so there's this energy of having faith that something better is there for you, that you can move forward. Um, we're seeing someone here who is wanting peace overall. It's like you're wanting connections that are peaceful, harmonious, and balanced. Um, so, um, connections that don't make you feel like you are constantly having to be somewhat of a martyr or a victim. So there is just this energy of you choosing to have faith in yourself and having faith in the ability to attract something that is more in alignment with you. Someone who is more, um, you know, shares the same values as you, someone with a, a, a heart that matches yours. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you, Sagittarius. So 
the Cartes' yellow rose, enthusiasm and friendship. A single rose can be my garden, a single friend my world. Okay, so you could be more introspective at this time, keeping to yourself in some way. Um, you could also be um, just keeping your circle small in some way. I'm seeing you're being quite careful about who you let in to your life, who you let into your circle. It's like you've learned a lot from this experience and um, at the same time, you're not stuck on the situation anymore. With the Five of Cups being in the reverse, you've even, it's this energy of forgiving oneself, releasing something and moving forward with your life. Um, and this is how you're also being perceived by this person. They're seeing you as someone who's not stuck on them anymore. It's like someone who, you know, you're not under their um, control. They don't have a hold on you anymore. And you're you're becoming your own friend, your own best friend, you're loving yourself. And there's also this energy of at the same time still having faith that, you know, it's like you haven't given up on love and people and relationships, but it's like you're not investing in something that isn't going anywhere anymore. You're not investing in something that is more harmful than it's than it is helpful. Okay, so there's just this energy of you embracing the self-love, you're choosing yourself energy. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Sagittarius. I hope you have a really, really good day, Sagittarius. Bye, Sagittarius.